are tuning into Enjoyment Radio, music for us by us. All right, guys. So now we are here with Ghana's very own Questy Tune Two. Yeah, welcome yeah, yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, thank welcome. You, thank you once more. All right. So just yeah. tell us a little bit about yourself. Um. Yeah. I mean, I'm Questy Tune Two. Um. A dark young guy who loves music and then my whole life has been revolved around music yeah i saw um, that you started to you, you actually started to get into music at a very young yeah, age yeah yeah okay yeah yeah i mean it, it was music was my only friend at that time because okay. i used to write but i did not even know why i was writing until oh, later on yeah. i realized oh this is actually music so yeah I'm just a simple guy. To so at honest. the time when you were younger and you got mm-hmm. into music, did you mm-hmm. get into music because you were just fooling around with it and your family members end up seeing that, oh, like he actually has mm-hmm. a talent? Or was it you that actually went to approach your family and say, oh, I want to do this? How did it come? Okay, so because um, of my dad's profession, we used to move around a lot. Okay. We were never stable. Like we could stay somewhere for a year, two years. and Outside then, of Ghana or, or just in Ghana, but different Ghana region? Okay. And, yeah. So yeah, I was always by myself and then I started writing. So I started to write music and even at that time, as I said, I did not know it was music. It was just me putting my thoughts on a piece of paper until I got to senior high school. And you know, I went to senior high school in Ghana. When you get to school, they ask you, oh, you, what can you do? You, what can you do? And at that time, I was Uh... like, oh, rap. I just put some of what I had written together and it sounded good. And everyone was like, hey, Charlie, they fall so, they fall so. (laughs) So that's what led to okay. more music. So what would you consider your music style to be? And if it's changed, like when you first mm-hmm. started out compared to now, has your music style changed? And then if it hasn't changed, what would you consider yourself to be your music style? My music style has drastically changed because I used to be more into rap. I used to go for rap battles. Okay. I'd go for radio shows where people are rapping and then you also yeah. go rap. And um, over time, I realized I started doing a bit of high life Afrobeat, and then even when I rap, I always fused it with like high life and Afrobeat. Nice. So okay. I've put my gender under the Afro vibe. Af- I'm an Afro vibe. All artist. right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. And if you were to think about about two or three artists growing mm-hmm. up that influenced you to want to take music seriously, who would you name? Kojo and Chi. Okay. Nice. Um, Sakodie. Okay. And um. Mm, Michael Jackson. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I like yeah. that mix because it actually makes sense as to what you were saying with the Afro vibes. Yeah. All yeah. right. Okay. So I do see that you were on the next big thing. When was that? Yeah. Um, that was 2011, the Maiden edition. I think okay. 2011. That was. And how was your experience yeah. on that? Oh, it was good. I mean, it was within that time. I also traveled. So um, during the first audition, I was selected to come again, but within okay. that space, I had to travel and all. That was the one with T Flo, Strongman, yeah. and all those people. It was very good because, I mean, every platform you get kind of brings you to a whole other level. And for me, it also made me more confident because I met other very good rappers as much as I thought I was a good rapper. So it just made me more confident. And I like that. Um, mm-hmm. A few days ago on the show, we were discussing Abiana and the okay. whole thing that's been going on with the auditions. And I was saying uh-huh. that, yeah. I was explaining to Paul that even though maybe her approach might have, might might not have been the best, mm-hmm. I do believe that her intention was not there to discourage the person. Yeah. So I was saying, if the person is out there, I hope they're not discouraged because yeah. these type of shows, you have to know there's only going to be one winner, yeah. right? And yeah. you have to walk away either yeah. learning something or either having a, um, mm-hmm. an increase of confidence like mm-hmm. what you were saying. Yeah. So yeah. with you, either than your confidence, what do you say would be like your biggest lessons from being on a platform like that? Um, I think, okay, so honestly, after that show and a few other places I've been to, I decided never to involve myself in any reality show or contest. Okay, which is understandable, Sometimes yeah. I feel like it's a matter of popularity and someone personally liking your vibe yes. or something about you yeah. when they see you. Someone could see you and immediately get turned off by you for a reason that you... Without even, even hearing exactly, your talent, yes. Exactly, so I think once you have a talent, you should just keep pushing Try as much as possible to listen to what's out there. I mean, also, try as much as possible every single time to improve yourself. That's the most important thing. No one is perfect. And then a song that you may not even believe in that this song is going to blow might be... What the one blow. that... Yes. So, Charlie, just be yourself. But for me, I'm done with... Even recently, there is the whole Afrochella Rising Star yes. thing. And people keep hitting me up like... 
do I don't know. I'm, I'm unable to put myself in something that's like a competition. Competition, yeah. I can't. No, but mm. see, it's okay that you're saying no because at least you've mm-hmm. tried it. Yeah. I would say that if you haven't tried it, I would yeah. say definitely try yeah. it, but you've tried yeah. it. Yeah. So it's okay that you yeah. want to go into a different avenue. Yeah. But yeah. I like what you said because the whole thing is when you're in that type of environment, you mm-hmm. have to know that there's going to be wins and losses yeah. and you have yeah. to grow from it, yeah. whether or not you're going to take it yeah. seriously or not. Yeah. I know certain people that have stopped doing music mm-hmm. or stopped dancing mm-hmm. um, after these type of shows. Mm-hmm. And then later on, they reassess themselves, yeah. maybe even change their style and yeah. their vibe, yeah. and then they went back to yeah. it. So that's very, very good as well. Yeah. All right. You are tuning into Enjoyment Radio, music for us, by us. Okay, so who have you collabed with Mm-hmm. compared to who is on your list that you still want to collab with? Mm. So I always um, like record with people on a personal level. I recorded with Kel songs and he was on my list. I was like, I want to record with him because okay. we grew up more like in the same community. I saw him growing up and all. So when he became big, I was not in Ghana at that moment. So when I came back, I was like, oh, I need to record a song with Kel songs. So I'm happy I was able to do that. Um... In the near future, if I'm to want to record with any other person, maybe Kojo Enchi again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe Kojo Enchi, Sarkodie, yeah, I would be, yeah. Okay, nice. Into, yeah. All right, so we know Kwesi Tum Tum as the, as the artist, yeah. right, as the rapper. Yeah. What else in the entertainment industry do you want to get involved in? Um, oh, before I wanted to be a presenter like yourself. Oh, okay. I, I, I really wanted to. And um, even when I was growing up, I wanted to read journalism, do all that. But ah, for some reason, even when um, Enjoyment Radio was having its um, audition, audition yes. yeah, Salty called me was like, bro, why don't you come? But I know I felt like I've, I've grown it to a point. And sometimes time, you don't yes, have yeah. too much time. But it's something maybe in the near future, even if it's a podcast or something, I may venture into it sometime. Okay. So when it comes to writing your music, you are you the mm-hmm. sole writer that writes most of your music? Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. but you know, sometimes when I'm recording, I'm in the studio, and anyone at all could be like, oh, Charlie, this side, why don't you sing it oh, this yes, way? Oh, yes, of course. Or why that don't one's always so, there. So, yeah, I call all those people co-writers. Okay. Because they all help. But majority, yeah, most of the time, it's either I write 100% or 80% Okay. Have writing. you ever considered writing, or are you interested in writing for other artists? Yeah, I've done that before. How was yeah, it? What was your experience amazing. like? It was nice. Although, it's, it's very difficult. So, for that artist, I was managing her myself. Okay. And sometimes it's difficult trying to let someone take a direction you feel would work for them. Everyone has their own directions they want to take. So, that clash wasn't favorable. But it was a nice experience. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And when it comes to your music right now, the direction that you're going in, mm-hmm. are you signed mm-hmm. under a label are you trying to create your own label? Because you just said you were managing someone previously. Mm-hmm. So what's yeah. next? Yeah, um, I am co-signed to NC Had the Guitar. And um, NC Had the Guitar is in Toronto, but they are opening branches in Sub-Saharan Africa. Okay. So yes, I'm working with them, but not it's not a record label. It's a digital company. So yes. they handle like my distribution and okay. other stuff. Okay. But for a record label, no. Okay. I kind of have my own team that I work okay. with. Yeah. The reason I was asking that is because another another news um, heading that's just come in the... the um, uh-huh, subsidiary. That was the subsidiary, way that, yeah. <laughs> that was the way that was <laughs> Another thing that has just come in the limelight was <laughs> the whole thing with Kwame Eugene being mm-hmm. signed to Lynx, but then he's also with Empire. Mm-hmm. And before he even announced that, what I was saying to Paul that day when we were going back and forth was, mm-hmm. what if it's a distribution deal? Because yeah. he's under links, yeah. under management, which yeah. is different. Yeah. That's what I wanted to know because yeah. a lot of people don't understand that yeah. you can be an unsigned yeah. artist yeah. but signed to a distribution yeah. label. Yeah. You can yeah. be a signed artist and yeah. have no distribution yeah. label. Yeah. So you are free to do those things yeah. around there. Yeah. And then there's also those artists that have production yeah. labels as yeah. well, production yeah. contracts or yeah. even product deals. Yeah. There's, there's yeah. so many different companies exactly. around an artist. Yes. If you're un, um, able to be under one record label entity mm-hmm. that has like little little subcontracts yeah. here and there you're yeah. lucky yeah. but for most artists they have to go yeah. around and shop yeah. around yeah that's very good yeah so i know it's the end of the year but tell us what's what's next for you um so for now i mean we are promoting my new single miss malaika there is a whole dance challenge to it there is a price 
tag, the winner gets thousand CDs. Okay, so where so, yeah. where is the the t- challenges on Instagram, TikTok, um, where? Instagram and TikTok? Okay, yeah. I mean, a few people have started doing it. Some people are testing me because the song is now only available on Audio Mac. I'm waiting for it to be out on all the platforms. I don't know what happened. Usually, distribution gets our songs out to the same. Yeah. But this time, something probably went wrong. So I'm just waiting for the song to be available on all the platforms and then okay. we open it to the public. Yeah. All right, nice. So 2023, what ah. would you like to accomplish? 2023, oh God. Um, I would want to do more music. I would want to be able to, I'm also into business. Okay. And um, yeah, I'm doing more of that. The food that I brought from Local Vibes Restaurant is actually a title of a song. Local okay, Vibes. shout out also, to Local Vibes Restaurant yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm into all that. So I'm trying to push my business out there as well. And maybe, maybe, you never know, with the artists that I mentioned that I want to collaborate with, I leave all to God, but I know it's going to happen. If Amen, not, we're looking forward to that. Very soon. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Okay, guys, that was our little segment with Kwesi Tum Tum. Please let us know where they, they can hit you up, where they can find all your songs. So I know you said Miss Malaika is only on Audio Mac, but what about the rest of your songs? All my songs are on every platform, Apple Music, Perfect. iTunes, Boomplay. You get it everywhere. Just search for Kwesi Tum Tum, K-W-E-S-I-T-U-M-T-U-M. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah, just connect with me. Let's go. And I need to give a big shout out to Adwoa. She's also an, an artist in New York. I Adwoa is her Instagram handle. And um, yeah, big up to her. Keep doing your music. Let's go. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, guys. So it is Friday. We're going to be ending off with you guys. We want you guys to have a safe and lovely weekend. It's your girl, Avita Ray. I can be found at Avita Ray on all social media platforms. We have Paul Menta Uncle. He just stepped out. He's available at Paul Menta Uncle on all social media platforms. We have our lovely DJ at Nemesis DJ underscore GH on all social media platforms. Once again, a huge thank you to Kwesi Tuntun for coming and thank blessing you. us in our studio today. We want to thank everyone. So don't be t- don't go away guys um just let you guys know at 3 p.m we have enjoyment drive coming up on the weekend we have the lovely crew from extra extra as well and we will hit you guys back up on monday we are going to sign out with another song from questy tum tum and we will see you on monday morning